ตัวเนี่ยจะเจ้าโกก็ยกออกมาเนี่ยทั้งคู่ยกยกออกมาแล้วแต่ว่าเราสิมาเจอกันแล้วเราสาธุเลยเลยที่ปอกสาธุเจ
and that one won't be able to um, bring about making oneself a true human being with the, the ability to keep one's mind, one's mentality humane, and being human to develop special human knowledge. The practice won't develop if one doesn't give it full effort. So one has to understand this. Only if one can bear pain and um, not be afraid of death will one be able to go all out in the practice. If one fears pain or death, if one has regard for one's life or limb, then one won't surrender to the practice. And without surrendering, surrendering to the practice, one won't make the effort needed to make oneself a true human being, to develop a humane mentality, and to develop special human knowledge. And in the world, most people are like this.
What it means to not have regard for one's body, it is said, Asuti Bhavena, Tahiraka, Nawanyanaka, Kunasevya. To regard one's body as though it is an unclean corpse, any type of corpse, and something outside of oneself. Kunafa means a corpse, so it could be any type. It could be a, the corpse of a, an animal or the corpse of a human. So one needs to view it as something unclean, the body as something unclean, a sushi bawena, and outside of oneself, external. Especially when one practices, when pain arises, if one feels, oh, if, if one has um, consideration, or oh, this hurts, or one feels not disease, or one feels one's going to die, this is like um, trying to protect the corpse. Uh, instead of making effort in the practice, which can guarantee us happiness, when we, uh, when we favor our body, it's like favoring something which has no guarantee, which is completely unreliable. When one sits, when pain arises, there are some yogis who switch here and there every time pain arises. One has to be patient in the face of pain. And if in observing it, one comes to the point where one has to move, then one should do so with awareness. Uh, keeping one's awareness as one changes into the new position. If one can be patient with pain, this type of attitude will gradually become stronger. And then one will be able to note the pain without moving, and the mind will be strong enough that it just stays with the pain, and there won't be any more form appearing in the mind. There won't be any, any sense of what part of the body is hurting. It will just be the mind and the pain. It is only when the form appears in the mind, only when the form is present, does one have regard for one's body. So one has to develop one's mindfulness until it reaches this stage where it can observe pain without any sense of the form. And if one can observe pain in this way, then it's painful and it's also good. In the world, there isn't such a type of thing that is this way, but in the practice, it's this way. For the yogi, 
if the yogi can bear the pain with patience, uh, and if the yogi can um, develop one's observation so that one can be brave enough to encounter the pain and overcome it just one time, then one will be really brave about it. One will be able to, uh, one will feel that one can challenge the pain. One will no longer fear pain if one can overcome it once. So uh, because of that, there's the instruction that when pain arises, one should view the body as an unclean corpse that is outside of oneself, and one should bear the pain with patience. ที่จะเป็นอาจารย์ที่เรียนที่ว่าเนี่ยยุคเด็กที่เรียนนั่นเด็กที่เรียนยุคเด็กที่เรียนนั่นเด็กที่เรียนยุคเด็กที่เรีย
ప్రత్యేకం కొంచెం ఎవరు అనుకుంటున్నా ఇలా దృష్టి పడుతున్నా రాజు నాయుడు నగు అసి మీరు నగు అసి మధ్య నాయుడు కానీ అవమాను గారి ఊరే స్నేహితులు గారి చేయాలి చెప్పేసి అత్యేకి మీరే కమాలో తెలియ ตัวดีกว่าเตชิดีกว่าเลยคือตั้งอยู่ในปมปมมาเวทีที่ดูมาที่ดูกันในทางนั้นแล้วครับเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ
this is the weakness of being that if we get a new life a new existence in that new existence we age we have disease and we die there's no one who can avoid this so these three old age, sickness and death they're always coming at us and the Buddha compared it to what it's like to be in a forest fire for the animals that live in the forest they try to escape and they go to the east but it's burning in the east so they can't go that way and they go to the north but there's fire in that direction too they can't escape so they go to the west there's fire in that direction also they can't escape they go to the south in that direction too each direction they go in they find fire so finally they stop running and they just die in the bonfire of the forest fire and the Buddha said it's like this for us in our existence so for yogis it's important to see this in advance The Buddha also said, Satyogantam Vangati, that these three dangers approach and no one has the ability to fight them off. No one has the ability to overcome old age, sickness, and death. ตึกตรงอย่างนั้นที่ว่าอูเรตัวอานะตานั้นตัวนี้อานิจเจตเตตึกตรงอย่างต้องหอมมาดูมาสิเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเ
Yogi who really knows well, who practices well, who knows the method for achieving freedom from existence, and who has faith and a keen desire to attain this. If they know the method, then when they make effort in the practice, they can become free of old age, sickness, and death. ปุถุเสียอาศัยแล้วแต่ที่สุดสุดเลยเราก็ต้องทนอยู่ก่อนแต่วิญญาณก็ไม่ได้ปุถุเสียมาปาวิอาศัยแล้วอาศัยเป็
concentration the peaceful samadhi and the wholesome mind arises not unwholesome so no unwholesome results come and the wholesomeness wholesome consciousness that arises is not ordinary it does not bring ordinary wholesome results it is the um, bhavana kusala the meditator's wholesome consciousness that contains effort, sati and samadhi kiriya sati samadhi and this um, one, because of this one does not reach a bad existence and one also does not reach ordinary existence existence is one reaches uh, one, one gains freedom from old age, sickness and death and this free mind, this liberated mind is what arises Gurela Kodanya Homo Pedruga Estado Polo Gurela is my body Sevitar Tak Sevitar Gurela Avena Suma Tak Sina Te Sei Sei Gurela ซึ่งเรื่องเราที่มีชีวิตเราที่ที่เรียนเนี่ยเท่านั้นมาเรื่องเรื่องเท่านั้นเรื่องเด็กเราเรื่องธรรมะเท่านั้นเรื่องเร
which is related as cause and effect. One knows how it arises and then passes away, how it is unsatisfactory, how it lasts and the inherent self. And at that time, the potential for the chilesas to arise, the seed of the chilesas, is removed regarding the object that one observes. What this is like is, it's like when one is having a, has a fever, and the fever comes every two days or every three days, and one takes medicine, and finally the fever no longer arises. So it's like the way the medicine eliminates the fever, the the source of the fever completely, Um, so too in our observation. The latent chilesas, anusia chilesas, in the moment when knowledge arises, these are eliminated regarding the object of observation. So when effort, mindfulness, and concentration, Syria, Sati, and Samadhi arise, then the obsessive chilesas in the mind do not arise, the pariyotana chilesas. If they do arise, then one is able to overcome them quickly with noting. And when knowledge arises, then the, the latent chilesas, the, the seeds of the chilesas, regarding the objects observed, um, these are eliminated. And at this time, the, there's no ordinary wholesomeness, uh, no kusma, the wholesomeness that occurs at this moment does not produce more existence. It only brings about liberation. Then this type of wholesomeness that brings about liberation occurs many times. ที่เราเจอเจอที่เราทำงานกันเจอเราทำงานออกไปอย่างนี้เราทำงานออกไปเรื่องนี้ตอนนั้นมีเรื่องเจอเราทำงานออกไปเจ้าหนูจะรู้
ที่เราโกเรปัตติหาริยาเนี่ยเวเลือกเลือกเจอเจนนะเลยสมาสมันตาตาเจนนะเราเลือกที่ได้เลยแต่เมื่อวันนั้นเวเลือกที่มันจะ
ตัวนี้ก็ขามากูเนี่ยรู้สึกไม่ได้กูนำมาเจ้าเลยไม่ได้ที่ขามีก็เท่านั้นอาจารย์ที่มาเจ้าเลยไม่ได้อาจารย์